The diagram below represents two satellites of equal mass, A and B, in circular orbits around a planet. Compared to the magnitude of the gravitational force of attraction between satellite A and the planet, the magnitude of the gravitational force of attraction between satellite B and the planet is four times as great, twice as great, half as great, or one-fourth as great. Um, so first thing to do here is to write down our law of universal gravitation. Force of gravity is equal to g, the gravitational constant, times the mass of one object, times the mass of the other, divided by the distance between them squared. So we see that the force of gravity is inversely proportional to the distance between the masses squared. That means that if we were to double the distance, per se, um, the force of gravity would be one quarter what it was before. So if we look at the force of gravity acting on satellite A, that will be g times the mass of the planet, which we'll label big M, times the mass of satellite A, which is the same as the mass of satellite B. So maybe we'll write that down. Mass of A is the same as mass of B. So we're just going to call it little m. And then we're going to divide by the distance between the planet and satellite A squared. So that's r squared. So in the diagram here, we see that the distance between the planet and the satellite at any given time, since it follows a perfect circular orbit, is r. So that gives us a gravitational force of g m m over big R squared. Now the force of gravity acting on satellite B will be g m m, so same uh, product of masses here. The planet's mass remains the same. Satellite B has the same mass as satellite A. Then we're going to divide by the distance between the planet and satellite B. So in any given time, that will be 2r since satellite B also follows a perfect circular orbit. We're dividing by that value squared. So if we distribute the exponent, we'll have g m m over 4 r squared, or if we pull out that 4 in the denominator, we'll have 1 quarter times g m m over big R squared. Remember, that was the force of gravity acting on satellite A. So this expression and this expression are the same. Um, so the force of gravity acting on satellite B is one quarter the force of gravity acting on satellite A. So the correct answer here is one fourth as great. And that goes back to the uh, inverse square law uh, which governs the relationship between the force of gravity and the distance between the masses. So we double the distance, the force of gravity will be one quarter what it was before. If we were to, say, triple the distance, the force of gravity would be one ninth what it was before, and so on and so forth.